Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Good morning and welcome once again to Freedom Zone Worship Center. Uh, as always, so glad to have you be a part of our service. Thank you. Thankful to those that are here um, uh, in the uh, here that are present here, rather. God is awesome. God is awesome. Amen. God is awesome. I'm going to just start with a quick word of prayer. Father, we ask that you lead and guide us in this hour, that you continue to direct us, O oh God, and bless us, O oh God, to be all that you would have us to be. Look upon each and every one, O oh God, under the sound of my voice, and bless us all to be drawn closer to you, O oh Father God. Bless us to love you with all our heart, all our soul, and all our mind, and bless us to love one another, O oh God, our neighbors as ourselves. We thank you right now, and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, and amen. Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Every day with Jesus, I love him more and more. The more you get to know him, the more you love him. The more you get to know him, the more you care about him. The more you get to know him, the more you're willing you're willing to decrease that he might increase. We've been talking from the uh, uh, subject, uh, 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 this is my journey, and, and we're going to continue on with that today because I'm reminded, I, I, I'm reminded and continue to remind you the fact that we are on a journey. And we're on a journey, and as a journey has a beginning point, it has an ending point. So we have to be uh, mindful of that. <clears throat> that we continue on the way that we should go and make adjustments as we need to. Uh, again, so dealing with this is my journey. And last week we talked about taking ownership and responsibility. This week we're going to talk about, and still under the umbrella of this is my journey, but, but we're going to talk about going through a construction zone. Going through a construction zone. Tell your neighbor, if you were neighbor, neighbor. This, is this is my journey. And neighbor, and neighbor I'm, going through I'm going through a construction zone. A construction zone. Amen. Going through a construction zone. <clears throat> See, and, and, and when, when, when we think of, talk about this, or think about this, a construction zone, things take place. And the truth of it is nobody likes construction zone, construction area. We, we, we detour and go different routes because when we go down that road, they're doing construction. Nobody likes construction zones and you have to slow down. Sometimes you have to even stop and wait for traffic to come the other direction or they have a, a big, some type of big equipment in the road and you have to actually come to a stop and, and wait. And we, 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 don't, we don't like that. And sometimes if the, if the construction is, is intense enough or, um, or, 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 or um, big enough, you may have to even detour. You may have to even detour. Uh, they've been doing some work down the road here on, from the church. And, and at times you've had to detour and go all the way over to the other road and around. And, and none of us like that. But, but, but when it's done, though, we appreciate it. We appreciate it when it's done. When the, when they, when the new bridge is finished, we, 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 like, we feel safer driving across it and more space. And see, because sometimes construction areas, it, they, there's different purposes and different reasons. And we're going to come back and talk about us. But <clears throat> construction zones, sometimes there's expansion pro projects where they're widening the road. It was a one, two lane road and now it's going to be a four lane road. And, 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 and some, sometimes uh, construction zones, is they're repairing potholes or repairing weak bridges, uh, repairing stuff in the road that need to be repaired, uh, in that section rather. And, 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 and so sometimes it's, they're rerouting the whole road. Something has changed and, and, and then that, that road won't be there after they're done. It's, you'll take a different route to get where you used to take that route, now you'll be taking a different route. So construction zones, it, 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 it serves many, many purposes, but usually the end result is to improve something that once was there before. 
to improve upon it. Some, you know, even some buildings, they, you know, do construction on it. And, and when they're finished and you drive by and look at it, it don't look like nothing like it used to look. And, and we can see that and understand that in buildings and roads. But the fact that we're talking about we're on a journey. Today, we're going to live with the fact that, that we are. And the fact of it is all of us go through construction zone. All of us will. All of us will go through some construction some construction in this life and on this journey. And, 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 and see, when we talk about um, construction zones, and we're going to get on into it uh, 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 a little further even later on, but sometimes we try to avoid it. We try to avoid it and turn down a road, and I've done it, and, and turn down a road, and they give a detour, and we don't take that detour. I think I know a shorter cut. This road should do it. Only to end up on a dead end. And have to retract and come all the way back and follow the detour that they ask you to follow. We can understand and see all that with the roads and stuff around us, but hopefully we can understand and see it better in our own lives. We want to just start out, we're going to go to Romans, the fifth chapter. Several scriptures to read, so we'll try to keep it moving. Romans, the fifth chapter. First through the fifth verse, we're going to go there and then we're going to go over to um, probably Jeremiah. But Romans, the fifth chapter, first through the fifth verse reads, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have access by faith into his grace, in which we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but we also glory in tribulations, knowing that tribulation produces perseverance. Tribulation produces pers perseverance. And perseverance, character. And character, hope. And hope does not disappoint because the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who, who, was, who was given to us. But now here it is, it says tribulation produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope. That's some construction going on. Wow. That, that, that's, and when we look at our, our lives, and, and like I say, we don't like construction. We don't like construction at all. But it's saying that, 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 that things will come up. Things will come up. And, and, and tribulation is, 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 is any kind of trouble, but it produces, the tribulation is going to produce perseverance, and the perse perseverance is going, to, is going to produce character. And the truth is, what God is working and wanting in us is character. Amen. Your character is you. Your character is you. And if that God didn't allow some construction to go on, we would settle in. Sometimes in areas we shouldn't settle in. We would allow our lives to go in areas that continue down areas and roads that it shouldn't continue down. So when you start talking about construction and, and building character, the children of Israel, in, in order for God to build some character there, and, and we talk about construction, what about 40 years of construction? 40 years. 40 years because they didn't believe they did some things they shouldn't with the calf. We can go on down the road. But the thing of it is, their construction was 40 years. 40 years for some of them to die out. For there to be a new mindset, a new character to, to go into the, what God had prepared. And so when we start to thinking about our own selves and, 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 and construction, some things in our life is under construction because what the old us can't go where God is trying to take us. There's a promised land awaiting. There, 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 there's a better place, a better life, better things waiting for us. But many times the issue is we hang around in the construction zone and hang around in the construction zone and hang around in the construction zone because we don't want to make the changes that we need to make. The old had to die out. The old had to die out before they could go on into the promised land. And so when we start talking about us and the fact that, that they're going through a construction zone, you don't want to stay there forever. 
You don't want to say that fair, but that's why I like to say, I was saying about construction areas and make it ahead of myself a little bit. You, sometimes we go down dead end roads and, and we set up down that dead end road hoping and thinking something is going to change. Versus turning around and going back and getting things together and moving forward. We stay down that, that same dead end road. Same dead end road waiting on something to change, waiting on the construction crew to come extend the road versus us going back getting on the road. Under construction, tribulation produces perseverance, perseverance character, character gives you hope. Now, now, now if you would, let, let's go to we're going to, uh, because we're going to go to Jeremiah and we're also going to go to Hebrews. Let's, uh, let's go on to Jeremiah first and then we'll come back to Hebrews. Jeremiah, the 18th chapter. Jeremiah, the 18th chapter, beginning at the first verse. Jeremiah, the 18th chapter, beginning at the first verse, it says, The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause you to hear my words. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was making something at the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. So he made it again into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to make. The potter was able to change the vessel according to what he wanted. Now, we're talking about a construction zone. Construction zones, what used to be a dirt road today can be a paved road tomorrow. Mm 